Saturday. As you may recall, I already fulfilled my theme requirements on last Saturday. So this Saturday, I am going to grace your ears with some advice from old French poetry. I am taking a class called Arthurian Legends, and in Arthurian Legends, we are reading Yvain, which is um, old French poetry. We're not actually reading in old French. I'm not that talented at French. I'm actually just not talented at French, but leaving that aside. But yeah, so this is kind of relevant to my theme anyway, right? Yes, no, ish, enough, doesn't matter. But as I've been reading Yvain, I've been gleaning some nuggets of wisdom that I think you'd find also very nuggety and wisdomful. So I will share them with you, my lovely friends. According to line 1172, our miserable souls are always seeking the stewards of eternal absolution. That'd be um, the holy word and incense and priests. So that's good to know that if my soul is miserable, um, I am seeking the holy word and priests and incense. Glad to have that decided for me. Thank you. Old French poet, Christian Detroit. I don't know how to say your name. I also find this rather interesting. How shameful for love to act this way. Picking the worst of all places, the lowest, the most base, as readily as the best. How dare love be an equalizer. So lame. I'm personally very disappointed with love for that. But luckily this time love has chosen correctly in the vein. So no worries, guys. Also, this is nice. How easy to see you're a woman, for women grow angry when anyone gives them good advice. Yeah, that's the... What lover escapes his prison? She was right calling it a prison. Whoever's in love is in jail. Better to be silent than speak badly. This is my particular favorite. I'll have to give you a little bit of backstory so that you uh, understand where he's coming from on this one. And the lady so honored everyone, separately and all together, that fools might have thought it was love drawing her on, and love she offered them all. They're simple idiots, and deserve the name, thinking a lady is in love because she is gracious and polite to some blockhead and makes him happy and hugs him. It's fools who are happy with pretty words. There's nothing difficult about being a fool. So there, now your minds have been enriched with some wisdom, and you can go on feeling enlightened and know that you're a fool if you think that people love you because they're nice to you and um you know that if you're in love you're in jail so that's good also if you're a woman shame on you but in all seriousness this book is fairly amusing despite its sexism and blanket statements of rude want to see something cool See their little flowers? I get flowers because I'm in horticulture class. Oh, yeah. See that, Christina? That's that $1 vase coming in handy like we knew it would. Christina and I went yard selling once as an actual activity, and we saw that vase, and I was like, you know, I should just buy this because someday that vase is going to come in handy. And, she, and then we just sat there and talked about how it wouldn't and then bought it anyway, and now it did. So you and I will see Miriam tomorrow. Hopefully with a super special video, if she has time to do that. And I'm going to continue reading Arthurian literature. And 